welcome to Kids Cooking in the Kitchen. I'm Miss Michelle, the Youth Technician with the Monroe County Library System. Today we're going to be making a special recipe for kids any ages to make. Today we are going to make pumpkin pecan crescent rolls. Ah, fall pumpkin. They go together in Halloween. So, very easy recipe. Let's get started. What will you need? You will need a tube of Crescent Rolls. It doesn't have to be Pillsbury. It can be Meyer and Off brand. Make sure you need pumpkin, pure pumpkin. Not the stuff that's pumpkin pie mix, but pure pumpkin. You'll need some pumpkin pie spice. You'll need some pecans. I bought a little bag and I used two tubes of uh, crescent rolls, so you're going to need a quarter cup, so this is enough for two tubes. You're also going to need a third cup of the pure pumpkin. You will need brown sugar, and you will need granulated sugar, and you will then combine them along with the pecans to make a filling. And when these are done and they come out of the oven, you're going to brush them with melted butter just a tablespoon and a little bit of cinnamon according to how you like the flavor. So let's get started. First, what you're gonna do is open up your tube of crescent rolls and you're going to um, take the pumpkin pie filling and you're gonna place it on the crescent roll. Make sure though that you set your oven for 375 and I'm using this little pan. If you use a cookie sheet, spray it with some cooking spray. Okay, so what I did is I took the pumpkin and I just took the filling and dabbed it as where I wanted it to be. This smells really, really good. I wish you guys could smell how good this smells. And it just, and then I'll take my mix, and I might put a few more pecans in this mix because I like it nutty. And I use Ziploc bags all the time because what's a great thing? You can shake stuff up. I put my brown sugar, which is only three tablespoons, and a half a cup of granulated sugar and my pumpkin pie spice in here, along with the pecans. And then I'm gonna take it, just gonna sprinkle it. Put that up in there. Then I'm going to take the big end, not the little end, but the big end, just like you're making a crescent roll, and I'm going to start rolling. Like, kind of reminds me of a cannoli. <laughs> and then I'm going to take it and put it on my sheet. And then I'll start another one real quick. Same thing. You might not want to go real heavy, but you want to make sure you cover your triangle of your crescent roll. But if you like pumpkin, then I do it according to your taste. But then I grab my filling again. You can see the nuts in there. I'm going to try something different the next time I make these for my family. You can eat these for breakfast, by the way, or lunch, or serve them for a Halloween party or a Halloween night dinner. Um, what I'm going to use the next time I make mine is pumpkin pie. Um, instead of the pure pumpkin, I'm going to use pumpkin pie filling that already has the spices in it. That way it'll cut it down. Boys and girls, you might not know what that is, but I'm sure if you asked your mom or your grandma or an adult, they would tell you 
that it's the pumpkin pie stuff that they make pies with. Only trouble is, it doesn't come in a small can. It comes in a very large can. So here's my last one, then I'm gonna pop these in the oven. And the oven is set, like I said, at 375. They're gonna go in for 12 to 13 minutes. And when they come out, you're gonna take and brush with butter, the top, you'll brush that with butter, that's melted. I just melted mine in a coffee cup. And I had this little like paint brushy thing, but it's not a paint brush, it's a pastry brush and it's only used in the kitchen. Do not use a paint brush at home. I'm gonna roll this one up. We're gonna put it in there. Now let's pop these in. We have a toaster oven here. I'm gonna try this. Pop them in. We'll set our timer. And in 12 to 13 minutes, that should be done. It depends how gold you want them and how brown. But I'm not waiting. I have some that are pre-made. Let me bring them over to you. You take a look. Here they are. And what you see on top is the cinnamon. After I brushed it, I sprinkled that with the white sugar. And then I took and I sprinkled cinnamon on top. And that, my friends, is the pumpkin pecan crescent rolls. I hope you enjoy them. Be kind, and we'll see you.